Okay, Paul, Inventor 3 here. Been doing a lot of experiments uh, with sticking rods, ferret rods, and all different things down inside these coils here. Uh, right now, I'm at 85.1. Uh, I was up to 87 a minute ago. Uh, I've got it up on some blocks right there, getting it uh, positioned evenly on this ground pipe. Uh, seems to have the best results at that height on that pipe. And uh, strange things are happening though. I, I moved the coils a little bit. Uh, move it up or down a little bit I mean get difference between 10 20 30 40 volts uh, slightest thing you do right now makes a huge difference it's really trying to figure out what's going on you can see the diameter of my copper ground pipe as opposed to the diameter of my coils there uh, you could see the top wire it goes to my circuit and to the antenna right there on the left hand side of the coil. Uh, if we go down to the bottom on the left hand side of the coil also going to the antenna, one to the antenna, one to the circuit. Uh, you can see the two wires right in the middle that connect both of the coils. One kind of circles around with that red alligator clip going around there. It connects both of the coils. Uh, they're both located at the front of the coils right now. And the antenna and the circuit are both to the left side of the coil. And I get the best voltage reading right now with this copper pipe towards the front like it is. Not to the left or the right or the back side. And that's what's really strange. I don't understand why it makes such a big difference as to what side that copper ground pipe is located in unless it makes a difference if it's got to be centered between those. Uh, I'm gonna give the camera to my dad right now. I'm gonna show you the difference in results and voltage when I move that pipe from one side to the other. Right now it's in the front and right now we've got what is it 84.8 volts okay Okay, I'm gonna hand the camera over. Should be good just like that. I don't think you have to zoom anything. You can see right here. I'm gonna loosen this tape that's holding the pipe in that position. I'm gonna move it over to the left or the right side of the coil now. See the voltage there. 84.4, 84, 84.3, 84, 2, 1. It's going down, 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 down. Just because I slightly moved this. All right, if you could show the camera over here again, Dad. Okay. Let's see. Backside. And it's not from my hands touching it, because I've checked it out before. I've held it with the tape. We're at 83.9. Let's see, I'll move it to the left side. Look how fast it's going down. Just because of where I exactly position the ground pipe. So we put it right in the front again in our best position. why that's our best position is the big question so yeah, it keeps bouncing around a little bit you have to get it positioned exactly right there's right in the front right there it's got to be straight also 
So, all right, thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there he is. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> hey, nice job. But yeah, that's the big question right now is, uh, and if I try to, if I get that copper pipe in the exact best position like it is right now, and then I try to put other copper rods or the ferret rod down inside at this point, it does not increase the voltage. So that's very strange. Uh, having a hard time figuring things out here. Going from 86 volts to 126 volts. I mean, uh, we're all over the place. Just a matter of fine tuning this up and down, a fine tuning of positioning of that, fine tuning of uh, the depth of the rods inside there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, high humidity today. It rained early this morning. Um, I don't know if that's making a difference or not. But until next time, we'll see you later. Paul, signing off.